channel. Today I got a quick one for you. I'm going to hopefully do a little series on this where I just fix little things on the car. It may be something that, you know, is just an annoying thing, like this grill, or it may be something a little bit bigger. But the idea is just a quick how-to video that hopefully helps some of you out if you're stumped on how to replace a part or, you know, what to do in a certain situation. So I have a couple things that I'm going to fix on the car today. And, uh, you know, the first video here, I'm going to start with the grill. Now we've all been there before. You know, one of the things with driving older cars is that the little things start bugging you. Especially with me, I find myself being annoyed by uh, little broken bits here or there. Things that just don't work right. And one of the things I have to walk by every day and see is this busted grill. It always bugged me that it was broken, but I never cared enough to do anything about it. I happened to be at the junkyard today looking for parts for uh, this car and another project I'm working on and stumbled into this Grand Marquis that happened to have this just beautiful grill on it, where mine is not. Today we're just going to dive right in here and uh, replace this grill. Super easy to do and uh, something you can do in about five minutes. All right, pretty basic as far as tools go. All you really need is an 11 millimeter socket of some kind, ratchet. Uh, you can't really get back in there with a wrench. There is five nuts at the top. I can show you on this one really easy that you got to take off and the bottom side just snaps in. So we'll get those pulled out. See it's loose now, and then you just grab it down at the bottom and give it a tug. There you go, old broken grill out, and then it's just as easy. Line all your snaps up. Oops. Help if I take the take these nuts off first. Helpful tip, guys, if you're at the junkyard. I know probably most of you do this, but if you're taking something apart. Always take the hardware with you. Nobody else is going to need it. And, uh, you know, in case you drop one of those or something when you're taking it apart, then you have extras. So, again, a simple, simple process to put it back in. Just line all your clips up. These clips at the bottom, line those up with the slots down in the bottom. Push it. Snaps right in. And then put your nuts back in. Now when you're putting this back together, do not go crazy tight on these. Uh, using electric tools like this is probably a bad idea because it's really easy to snap these off and over torque them, but uh, I'm lazy. Perfect. We'll set that off to the side, get our tools out of the way, and we can put our cover back on. Now this is pretty easy. The only thing you got to watch for is these little hooks. They like to fight you a little bit. You just got to get them underneath. And then these just twist in. Simple as that. You got a brand new grill, brand new, and uh, it's looking a lot better already. All right, guys, simple as that. You got a nice grill now. Throw this one in the trash, hang it up on the wall, do whatever you want with it. So, anyway, guys, I hope that helped you out. Uh, like I said, just a quick little video, quick walkthrough of how to do it. Uh, it's something that you can easily do and five to ten minutes on your own car and uh, just makes for a nicer looking vehicle. Anyway, I hope you stick around for some other fixes on the car and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.